Ease of use and ability to execute is so important that our team is bombarded with tools all the time. And if it's not solving a problem, we're not interested. And so that's a really important part is we get approached by, you know, I get many emails a day. We'd love to talk to your clients about our solution. It's like, but that's not a problem. So it's not a solution. Like we're not, we have no issues there. So it's like, this is part of the issue is I watch a lot of people build softwares that are nice to have, but they don't really solve a pain point. That's really a big pain point. So they're not going to get me to do any work to try to figure this out. AI is a really good example of this. I, I have friends that seem to have these lists of, you know, the 150 AI tools they've used for all these different things. And when I look at these lists, I'm like, how much time do you have on your hands? Like, what are you doing? <laughs> like, <laughs> why did you go? Why, why is this even put together? Like, how did you find the time to go spend this? And like, I'll pick a few things on there that I use because I do think AI is going to be compelling. But like, I think there's a lot of companies that end up with a few users that are just like early adopters that just want to use every new tool. And then when you get to the mass adoption and sort of the traction side of it, no, no one really cares. And so for us, we have a great test for that, which is our team's busy. So when we introduce a new tool, unless it's quickly solving a problem for them, they don't care at all. So that that's really the first litmus test is like, do you guys want to use this? Does this look compelling to you? If they go, yeah, this is awesome. Well, that's an easy test. If they don't have anything to do with it, moving on. And so that's an important part too.